What's up, my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love. And I am back with another video. This time it's an um, inspirational video. I just wanted to tell y'all something before I went upstairs. Um, Just came back from the gym. So it's that same video where I did that live and I got this on. But anyway, I wanted to tell y'all something that crossed my mind today. And I did put it on save mode. But what crossed my mind was when the Lord said to love him with all your heart, mind, and soul and everything within you to love the Lord, you know, and um, a lot of times we say we love the Lord, but we are not, um, you know, really giving him our all in all. Sometimes I think a lot of us serve the Lord um, just to get by. You know, um, just to make it in. I'm serving them enough just to make it in, you know. And what I'm what I mean by that is, you know, some people, uh, you know, you wanna you know, you feel like you you, you don't wanna go to hell. So you live right, you know, enough just to, you know, make it in the kingdom. But is you really loving them with all your heart, mind and soul? Is you really loving them? Are you over here for what he can do for you? Are you over on this side for who he is? You know, it's it's a difference. You know, I, I serve the Lord for what he could do for me or I'm serving the Lord because of all who he is and what he has done for me, you know, and um, he knows, you know what I'm saying? That's why the scripture says, you know, you serve me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. And um, I remember the Lord giving me that word way back in the day. And uh, I was like, oh, Lord, he's right, you know, because God ain't no liar, you know. And if he gave me that word, that's who it is, that's who it's for, it was for me, you know. And uh, I was like, yeah, you're right, Lord, serving you with my with my lip, giving you lip service, but my heart far from it. And um, I wanted to make sure that I love the Lord with all my heart, mind, and soul, everything within me to love the Lord, you know. And not just because of the fishes and loaves, not for the things that he could do for me, but because of who he is. Because he he woke me up and clothed me in my right mind. He protects me day by day. He's made it possible for me to breathe. He's made it possible for uh uh he protected my loved ones. All the things that he does, he gives me the opportunity to praise his holy name. His lights went off in the car, y'all. To uh to to praise his name, to worship him, to be able to call on the name of Jesus is a privilege. I'm telling you, there are people that are bound that can, cannot even call on the name of Jesus for, for healing or even to be saved and protected. That name is powerful. Jesus, that name is powerful. To be able to call on the name of Jesus, y'all don't understand. It was a time and place in my life when I was a teenager, I couldn't call on the name of Jesus. Every time I would call on the name of Jesus, I would get choked up. So I know it is the privilege to be able to call on the name of Jesus. And sometimes we take advantage of that. But I'm I'm thank God. I thank God that I'm able to call on the name of Jesus. I'm able to mention his name. Whenever I'm in trouble, I'm able to call on his name and he's there. He's my very present help in a time of trouble. And I thank him for who he is to me. And I worship him for who he is and all that he has done. You know, a lot of us say that we serve the Lord because we love him. But a lot of us live in a, in, in, in a book of Revelation. And what I mean by that is Revelation is a book of what's going to come. All the total damnation that is, be, that is going to become on the earth. And we read that book. We stay in that book because we fear of what's going to come. And we don't want to go to hell. We don't want to bust hell wide open. And we don't want to be left down here with the flying locusts and, and stinging uh, 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 big insects that's supposed to come. And all this. If you read the book of Revelation, you'll see what I'm talking about. And uh, so a lot of us is living in the book of Revelation because of the fact that, uh, like I said, we don't want to go through none of that. And so but at the same time, no, we live in say because we say, well, I'm not going through that. But are you serving them because you're afraid? Are you serving them because you love them? There's a difference. There's a difference. And um, I don't know. This message just came to me. Um I was thinking on it earlier, and this, like I said, this is what I had saved. Um, I worship the Lord. I serve the Lord because I love him. I love him for who he is, and like I said, all he has done. I don't know a parent that would want their children to obey them and honor them because they fear for their natural life. 
But I think that a parent would want their child to honor and love them because of a great parent that they are, because they're a great nurturer, because they fed them when they was hungry. They, they, they was by their side when they was sick. When they was down in their deepest, darkest moment, hour, that parent was there and it nurtured that child back to health, emotional, physically, mentally, and every which way it can. And that's why I love you. That's what you want your child to say. I love you because you're my mommy, you're my daddy, is because of who you are to me. I don't want you to love me because you scared of me. And that's not love. You serving me out of fear. Like I'm saying, don't honor me out of fear. Uh, I'm going to do what my mom and daddy say because I don't want to get beat. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want uh, uh, um, them to take this away from me or I don't want them to be punishing me. That's the same way God is. God wants us to serve him because we love him. We love and honor who he is because he's a great God. He don't want us to live in the book of Revelation. He don't want us over there saying, I'm over here. I'm, I'm going to live. I'm looking at this going to take place and I'm serving the Lord because I ain't going to hell. You know, I'm serving the Lord because I love him. Don't nobody want to go to hell, you know, but I'm serving the Lord on this side, not for the fishes and loaves. Thank God for the fishes and loaves that he's fed us. And as he, he feeds us day by day, you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking spiritually, but I thank God for that, but I'm not over here just for that. I'm just, I'm over here because of who he is. Y'all get what I'm saying? I'm, I'm over here because of who he is to me. Because he's great. He's God. He's almighty. He's faithful. He's been faithful to us. Not because I don't want to go to hell. That's not honoring him. And I, and I believe that the loving God he is, that would make him feel bad. That would make him feel bad. I'm I'm imagining how, you know, you look upon somebody and you wake them up and day by day and and you the things that you do for them are so supernatural that you know man cannot do that he does for us. And then have us look at him, I mean have a have him look at us and say, you know, Lord, uh I'd rather uh I serve you because I don't want to go to hell and I'm afraid. That would hurt. You mean to tell me? Where where have I where have I gone wrong where well, you can't serve me because of who I am and all the great things I have done that you have witnessed? You know? I I, I mean, not to mention the death on the cross, come on, rising again on the third day. You know, not all the healings that took place. The the lame can walk, the blind can see. But I brought it over into this generation day by day. Day by day. And I, and, and I don't want you to serve me. I don't want you to live in the book of Revelation. I don't want you to live be, out of fear. Because that's not honoring. That's not honoring him. That's, 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 that's being afraid. And God don't want us afraid. God is not a God that he is going to make us uh, serve him. You know what I'm saying? He said, with love and kindness, I will draw you. I have drawn you with my love and kindness. That's why we serve him. We don't serve him because he's making us serve him. You know what I'm saying? He's a gentleman. You have a choice. The enemy makes you serve him. You know what I'm saying? You don't serve me. You're going you gonna, to uh, 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 you gonna do this. You're going to do that. You know, you find yourself serving the devil. Don't even know you're serving him. If you ain't living for God, you're serving him. Okay? That's the definition of that. If you ain't living for God, you're serving the devil. You cannot live... A uh, 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 serving God and mammon. You cannot live serving the God and the devil. You're going to have choose you this day whom you're going to serve. That's scripture. Okay. And um, that's what he's talking about. Um, the enemy will make you do things. The enemy is an accuser of the brethren. The enemy does things. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He's, he's seeking the earth Two and four, back and forth, seeking whom he may devour. He, de he desires to sift us like wheat. But here it is, God, he's raising a standard against them. And he's keeping a shield of protection over our head because he told us to tell him, because he gave us the power to tell him that no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. And he also told us, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And if God be for us, who can be against us? That's what the scripture says. So God has given us the power and the tools to fight in his word. That's a loving God. 
But it's your choice. It is your choice whether you want to use them words, whether you want to live for God because of who he is and how he protects us and how we worship him day by day. That's your choice. As good as God is, he ain't going to twist no man's arm to make him serve him. You serve him because you want to serve him. You serve him because you love him. I heard I heard to love him, to serve him is to uh, to know him is to love him, to love him is to serve him. I may have that twisted around, but either way it goes it's the same. But I know the Lord. So I love the Lord because I know who he is. God is good, y'all. God has been so good to me. And this is why I talk about him. I don't care about no views. I don't care like I said if I could reach one or two, however, you know what I'm saying? That's what matters to me. That's the content I give, you know, because only what you do for Christ will last. And I wanted to share that with y'all, that I wanted to let y'all know that God is a loving God and he loves you so much to send you a message and say to you, listen, baby, I'm a loving God and you have a choice to serve me if you want to. But if you're going to serve me, I don't want you living out of the book of Revelation. I want you to live for me and love me for who I am and for what I have done and what I'm going to do. I just had that word to share with y'all. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope some of you was encouraged. Peace out in Jesus name. Be blessed.